In today's video, we're going to be talking about a favorite indicator of mine, the Bitcoin Investor Tool. And we've seen in today's video, we're going to be looking at a favorite indicator of mine where we have seen a breakout beyond a two year moving average, a historical resistance to what is a accumulation area and across time we tend to see accumulation errors form below this green two-year moving average but the fact that we've now broken out beyond it is mimicking previous cycles as you can see right over here and now we're going to be talking about what could we expect going forward based on tendencies in this indicator? Subscribe to our channel for more videos like this in the future. Like the video if you enjoy Bitcoin data science videos just like this one. And let's dive right into it. So we do know that Bitcoin is in a new bull market that according to this data science model is depicted by the fact that we break out beyond the two year moving average. And we see this in every cycle. We always break out beyond the green moving average, and then we rally over time towards the red moving average, sometimes overextending beyond this red moving average to denote a bull market peak. But in the previous cycle, we only just tapped this red moving average without actually overextending beyond it and we rejected into a bear market. So now we know that this red moving average is around $120,000, somewhere in that region. This is going to change over time. But the fact that we've broken beyond this two year moving average now signifies that we're ready for that price expansion over time. But of course, after the halving is when we're gonna see that most parabolic price action truly develop. We have to first focus, however, on the remaining pre halving period that we still have in this cycle and in the pre halving periods is when we still tend to pull back closer towards the two year moving average. This was the case in 2016, retesting this two year moving average before rallying higher and higher and higher to new all time highs. And even not talking about 2016, but 2020 as well. When we broke beyond this two year moving average, we managed to retest this moving average as a new support before rallying to new all time highs yet again. So we've seen over the past few cycles in their pre halving periods that we tend to break out in the pre halving period. But also not only break out, we also pull back to retest this two year moving average as a new support. So what does this mean in this cycle? How can we take these insights of a midterm retest and apply them to this current cycle. Well, technically we should at some point before the halving be able to retest this green moving average because that's been the case in previous cycles. But the problem with that is that we've already overextended in this current pre halving rally to such a degree that we're relatively far away from this green moving average. And this green moving average is approximately 28 K at this point in time, 29K if we just round it up to the nearest thousand. So the case here is, could we see a pullback into that green moving average? History is suggesting that yes. But if we think about price being at 52K right now, that would be quite a drop for Bitcoin to experience. And what might be the case in this cycle is that we won't get a retest of this green moving average. However, we could get close to it in some form or fashion because the drop from here would need to be quite substantial to get to this two year moving average. It would need to be quite deep and maybe Bitcoin won't retrace to such an extent to picture perfect retest this level as a new support. So while we saw retests get even downside wicking opportunities below this green moving average, we had to have a massive black swan catalyst enable that sort of downside volatility below this key area. And if we look back to the past here, this right over here, this retest, this was very shortly after the breakout from this two year moving average. And even looking much earlier, right once again, we see a breakout and then an immediate pullback in the weeks after that breakout for that retest. And the reason that 
that differs is we've broken out beyond the two year moving average, but we've already been in a technical uptrend for many, many months without any sort of intent to get a stronger rejection. And we've just been uptrending. So the time for a midterm retest was several weeks, a few months after the breakout beyond the two year moving average. And it seems like we're just postponing that sort of eventuality to such a degree that we might not actually get a pullback into this level any longer. However, there is still scope for a pre-halving retrace closer to the halving in April, which could provide a pullback that would enable intent towards retracing towards the two year moving average, but not actually reaching it. It will probably be front run quite substantially. And it's difficult to say at which price point this will be, but it looks like this is going to be the first cycle where we don't actually revisit this level. But on the other hand, if by some luck, because there has to be a degree of luck for us to get 29K in this cycle on a pullback, if we do get that, we will understand that this is going to be one of the best and probably final bargain buying opportunities for Bitcoin at the two year moving average. If we ever get to this level, that's going to be history saying to us that history is repeating. But in this cycle, it looks like things might be a little bit different. And if we do pull back, we're going to get front running a little bit at higher prices compared to what we see at the green level at 29K. So in general, what should we be expecting over the coming months from Bitcoin? Well, historically, whenever we've broken beyond this green moving average, we've seen uptrending over time. And of course, corrective periods during this uptrending. But these corrective periods have offered discounts before further buy side price action towards the upside. And we've seen this in all cycles, essentially, whenever we've broken beyond the two year moving average. This is essentially the green moving average is essentially the gateway to a new bull market that enables a steady uptrend with many opportunities for buying the dip and shaking out so called weak hands, but generally a sustained technical uptrend all the way to new all time highs, getting us closer to the red moving average. And the thing about this red moving average, if you notice that it's currently horizontal and historically we've seen this moving average really form an inflection point, curling up towards the upside, making it difficult, more and more difficult because this two year moving average represents higher and higher prices whenever it uh, experiences an inflection point like this. So it gets more and more difficult for price to reach that level. So you can see that in the past, inflection points make price, make it difficult for price to reach that green move, that red moving average, apologies. However, in this moment in the cycle, it will be a little bit easier for price to reach this level. And who knows, maybe in this cycle, we won't get a situation where we just tap and reject from the red moving average. Maybe we'll be in a position where Bitcoin actually overextends this moving average and then forms a bull market peak beyond it. But having said that, when things really do accelerate, there is scope for this moving average to tilt and curl up towards the upside, just like it has when the parabolic uptrend truly took place and accelerated. So for the time being, this is a horizontal moving average, but it's still possible that later in the cycle, we're going to see curling up in this moving average yet again. But for the time being, Bitcoin has only just begun its pre halving rally. It's really broken out into its early phase of the bull market. We're only 30% of the way through the bull market and still a lot of expansion yet to come. And at the same time, still many corrective periods to come as we've seen in previous cycles. So if you feel like you've missed out on this rally, know that there will be many buy the dip opportunities in the future with the first one probably being around the halving. And that's where we're going to see a pre halving retrace. So if you want to learn more about that pre halving retrace, feel free to check out my video from yesterday and before yesterday, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this in the future. If you enjoy data science content on Bitcoin, feel free to leave a like and I'll speak Speak to you in the next one. Speak to you soon.